I would like to call the order the November 15th meeting of Miami Township Trustees. Uh, I see present uh, Marilyn Moyer and Carol Simmons. Entertain a motion for adoption of the minutes from our November 1st meeting. So moved. I will second that. Any discussion of the minutes? There is a, there is one minor cor correction. That is that minor. Um, well, um, minor that I accidentally just, just call I actually, it a correction. Yeah, it's oh. a correction that um, I wrote. Uh, Mr. Hollister was present twice, and that Mr. Mutual wasn't present. <laughs> Well, we so, don't minor so, so, apologies to to you, Mr. Mutcher. <laughs> I don't know if there's any other corrections. Any other? I sat in this chair since 1996. <laughs> you know I was here. Well, why don't you argue about it while I get a pen? Oh, okay. Here's one. Thank you. You're welcome. That saved 30 seconds. Any other corrections to the draft minutes? None. Uh, you call the roll, please. Sure. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yeah. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Uh, entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of our special meeting November 9th. So moved. I'll second it. Okay. Any corrections? That's it. This was another amendment of permanent appropriations. Uh, please call the roll. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the total amount of seven, $73,955.37 from the general fund, $2,916.96. From the fire fund, $25,390.96. Cemetery, $3,000. $774.66. EMS billing, $3,107.08. Road and bridge, $38,765.71. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Mm -hmm. And Mark seconded. Mm -hmm. Any questions about this? Um, call the roll, please. Mr. Crockett? Yeah. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Okay. Uh, since, since I haven't critiqued the list of correspondence, I will read it. Hmm? That will just take more time than we need? Yes. There's a bunch. Uh, I would just, uh, let's see, which ones here seem key? Or which ones trigger business? Major business. Um, maybe there's something to yak about or something. You can just let I think uh, State Route 343 and ODOT merits public record beyond just mentioning it. Perhaps the inclusion of Aquaria next to you. Mm -hmm.
Come on the back. Perhaps the Daily, Daily News record request. We usually don't get many of those, but every once in a while we should mention that we have a records request or other records requests. Okay. Bath Township is replacement idea we could talk about. We've okay. seen that. And we'll arbitrarily call all those new business. <clears throat> so we will be adding four items from correspondence to the agenda. Does anyone else have agenda items to add? Well, as we move along, we've got a couple of <laughs> I mean, that don't, don't fit into the oh, reports. Oh, no, uh, I don't think so. New business. No, these are all. Uh, <laughs> fire department report. <clears throat> all right. Since the last meeting of the Board of Trustees, there have been 43 EMS incidents, six of which were in Bath Township, and 20 fire incidents, uh, two of which were in Bath Township. Um, we are over a thousand incidents for the year. We're projecting will be about twelve hundred for the at the end. If not. Um, we have interviews with all three candidates for the lieutenant position. They're scheduled this uh, next week, and then we'll have us all three psychopaths. We'll have a uh, <laughs> we'll have a hiring recommendation for action on the December sixth meeting. Clarify, we have gone back and forth a little bit. How many positions do we hope to fill? With this one, just one. Just this one. is the career, this is Alex's position. Okay, the career position. We have a posting out for a, excuse me, a part time paramedic to help fill in mm -hmm. in the PR in the position. Okay, I'm uh, actually a pretty good applicant for that. Mm -hmm. right now. Excited and that's the work so good. Well, nice thing. Great. Um, so yeah, these three gentlemen, we did, it took a long time to get the background. We did a th more thorough background check, given some of the issues we had in our last outside, out of department hire for a full-time position. So uh, we'll probably investigate sleuthing around. But uh, so that's all said. Um, well, we'll be all set. Uh, appointment of volunteer personnel. We have a re resolution for you all, for y'all. 2021-43 <laughs> for the appointment of Brian Burnett to a volunteer position. He is an EMT, uh, lives in Dayton, and works at the Air Force Museum in fundraising, I believe. So he's been interviewed and all his references checked and all that kind of stuff. I would move for passage of resolution 2021-43 as presented. Do I hear a second? Mark seconds. Any discussion? We call the roll. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yeah. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you very much. And then um, last year at the height of COVID, we did a Zoom holiday party, which was not nearly as fun as. People have made it out, made them those kind of things out today. So apparently, a few other guys have a lot of fun. A little comment on those. Can, um, can we let them put together the part <laughs> this year? <laughs> that might be a frightening. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was afraid you'd say that. So we are. Danny, Jason, and I were talking today, working on a scaled down, live and in-person holiday party that would be more economically feasible during these times than what we've. I mean, not that. The other parties have been like psychotically lavish, but <laughs> but uh, so we got an idea. So we're waiting on confirmation. Okay. Then we'll spring it on everybody. But um, you don't have a date yet. No, not yet. And then last but not least, and I forgot to put it on here, um, the Premier Health uh, Patient Treatment Room is almost completely up and running. Um, we received a donation of equipment from Premier Health, uh, an exam table, biohazard waste bin, and an exam lamp from them. Uh, I just received the 
stickers today that they also provided that said donated by Premier Health with their logo. <laughs> uh, but hey, no problem. Uh, we just have to get one picture up on the wall and then we're good to go. So, uh, who's the picture of? Me. It's a little portrait of all of you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, really. It's uh, done in a late, late Picasso style, so you don't really want to see how you guys well, look. Um, we'll actually, it's, uh, it's, like in the it's a picture we received from Green Memorial years ago. Uh, it used to be in my office in the old place. It's cardiac arrest. It's a heart being arrested by the police. It's kind of humorous, but apparently when Kettering took over Green Memorial, they didn't have a sense of humor about that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> So I always thought it was a funny picture, so I took it. It'll hang in our in our treatment room. So we'll see. So, so, <laughs> for the video, this is room. As you come in the front entrance, it's immediately to the right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and we've already I mean already used it for. We we do get a lot of patients who walk walk into the station with complaints or they cut themselves. Or they want a blood pressure check, um, and then. Lieutenant Paletti is working on a community paramedicine program that we would hope to launch next year. So that room would also be part of that as well. That would be great. Yeah. So. And that is it for my report. Okay. May I ask just a couple things as we move along? Um, any progress on the anti fire alarm issue? They seem to have stopped for the time being, so <laughs> that's good. Something worked out well. I went up and addressed the masses um, during a community meeting last week. And, uh, How many masses were there? <laughs> More than I thought I'd see, but not all. Is that right? Okay. Uh, 30? There were probably maybe 30 or 40 people in the room between staff, faculty, and students, <laughs> and then I didn't realize that they had like another 40 on a Zoom type thing behind me. Until someone said something and freaked me out. <laughs> but yeah, it was more than I expected. And did you identify yourself as an NEF alum? Uh, I did not need to do that. My intro, ah. my bio came, came with that. Everybody so. knew that, of course. But yeah, they seem to have slowed down, or yeah, actually, for the time being. So <laughs> keep thinking positive things. Any progress on the high humidity bunk room and or the uh, washable filters that have not been washed? Uh, I know with the high humidity bunk room, um, Halk was out and looked at it. Did they dehumidify it? Uh, they had to go, apparently they have to speak with J Carr and get with whichever who was the mechanical, not the contractor, but the architect, or the engineer. Uh, Schaefer, yeah, one of those, one of those guys. Um, they think, which is what I thought, but I don't get paid for HVAC stuff apparently. Um, it all has to do because that system is all self-contained within the bunk room. Mm -hmm. and they think it's an issue with the amount of air flow. There's not enough removing humidity from the bathrooms when the showers are used, and that may be contributing because there's really nothing else in there that should be making it that humid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they're going to contact Schaefer. Or Whoever that was, um, and then come up with this design, a solution proposal. And we can't bend to the outside because the nuclear missile might come in that bend. I think so. Yes. Yeah. It's, we can't have that. Yeah. But I mean, with the the humid dehumidifier we have in there, then at least it's keeping it habitable. Mm -hmm. Not at seventy five percent. Which I'm still shocked the guys didn't tell me that first. <laughs> Until the black mold started uh, dripping off the ceiling. Yeah, It'd stick to their pillows. <laughs> <in> the <morning. laughs> but and I'll check um, on the, the filters. I may have been told the solution on that one. Mm. Right, well, you'll keep us surprised at that. And I'm also waiting on a sign design quote to replace the ugly ones. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, is our equipment working? Every, everybody happy? All the medics and the engines? So far, and yeah, oddly. <laughs> no diesel smells or oil leaks or turbos that blew up? Nothing. Oddly. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. 
I mean, we'll see what happens tomorrow, <laughs> what tomorrow brings. But um, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I'm not like What's your plan for the winter treatment of your concrete? Your right. apron, your, your sidewalks. I mean, are you going to use that no salt stuff? We'll use it. Yeah, we got it. Might as well use it. Yeah. Because I, you know, they said after one year mm -hmm. we can treat it. I mean, Dan's been itching to put down salt, um, <laughs> so uh, that'll make life a lot easier. Yeah. So you're 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 not going to go through the sand routine. No. Okay. All right. Just checking. No. That's what I'm wondering. No, it wasn't. I mean, I guess it was fine for that first winter to mm -hmm. keep us from destroying the concrete. But mm -hmm. you know, watching the number of times that between Casey and Ted, mm -hmm. the two of them slipped on the ice because sand didn't do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, now that'll be an interesting test to see if Casey and Ted also slip <laughs> with the salt down. It may just be them, but <laughs> should be all right to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. forgotten this is our second winter. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I gave you a little salt yesterday out on the engine company. You had to go out and salt. Oh. Oh yeah, they got kind of chilled. That's all I had, boss. Okay. Uh, cemetery report? Since the last meeting, we've had two burials. We had a full burial on Clifton and the ashes down here on Saturday. Um, hopefully, the call of burying areas has come along. Hopefully, we'll have a wrap up this week. You know, take some time now. We can spend more time there. Any more bids for lowering it? I, uh, the person I thought would bid it now is working full time for Springfield. So, and we never received anything else through the Yellow Springs news. Sure, so. and, yeah. That wide distribution that we get, I thought, sure, from far and wide, there would be applications come in. But we do need to. Uh, that's on my little desk. Uh, we do need to decide whether we want to uh, re up with Cedarville lawn service for the next year and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the motion that we do simply because it needs to be done and it's getting near the first of the year and all the rest of that stuff so uh, unless you or Mark have some objection to uh, renewing their contract and we talked I think we talked at the last meeting or one of those meetings that their increase is equal to about three and a half percent per year, which is I don't think is out of uh, uh, certainly for the for the inflation numbers that we're gonna be seeing in the next right. few years. And did they well although you you made making a motion mm -hmm. so before discussing it, okay. uh, do I hear a second for to the motion to uh, accept the bid from is it Springfield, what, no, Cedarville, Cedar View, Cedar View, Cedar View Lawn, Lawn Service. service. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark seconds. Uh, is there any specification about you know, the, the there was time there were timing issues around holidays? It's just they need to do it. That's all. It says it. It says. Okay. They're uh, obliged to do it in the contract. It just has to be done. Any other questions or discussion? No. He's supposed to come in and straighten us some stone. Mm -hmm. And this winter, so they come over. Some take both and move. They're going to come in and straighten some of them. He had a rough year. He'll be doing it next year. Yeah. So he'll sit back. As far as you know, the, lead, the leads will be pulled at some time. He's going to pick them up. But he told me he was going to add, come in with a straight up. Yeah. So this, yeah, he'll do the leads. Well, that was in the spring, as I recall. For doing stones? For the leads. He usually picks them up this, about this time of year. He tries to. But he see him. He, last, last year yeah, because of the. He got laid every day. Yeah. But, but he'll do them. Yeah. And that's, a, that's all included. <laughs> Could we uh, call the roll? Mr. Crockett? Yeah. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. 
the road report. Let's see. We got called out yesterday by the county, which spread some salt. And then we had some slush on the road in front of the spot. That's really good. I need you to speak. I threw a little bit of salt this year. Okay. How'd the spreader work? It went fine. <laughs> Once you dusted it off? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I got a flat tire on my tractor today. It's sitting out on Houston Road. I have to find somebody to come and pick it. To Detroit, and don't have a service truck anymore. Okay. Yeah, now I just bought some. Everyone's been forever. Mm -hmm. I'll call Tim down at Harbor tomorrow and get a number of contacts. So it's out there now with mm -hmm. a flat tire? Leave that or drive it back and ruin the tire completely. Now I carry around a hand pump. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> so does Brian plan? Would he be able to help you out? Do they do tire service? I don't know. He's probably got tires up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I just tossed out there. He's I, got I a huge garage with the stuff. Same place where I got the flat the last time I got the front tire. Mm -hmm. so there's something somewhere. Why don't you pull that post out instead I'm, of running over? I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to write where the area looks. So. so, and then I have to fix a wash out there tomorrow. It's washed out against the Dunlap Bridge. Have you ever seen it? What I don't know where you're talking about. Oh. You know, there's a spot, and it's, I mean, it's, it's at the edge of the road, so we'll go fix that in the Put some gravel and rock, something in there, and then straighten that bitch up a little bit. On the schedule for tomorrow. My man Brandon would like to take three days off after Thanksgiving for hunting. Maybe he would need to. I don't know if it be a problem. Well, that's your. That's up to your discretion. So. You got me. They're going down south. So you, don't, you don't need to run by us. So okay. If you want to tell him it's all right. If you know it's okay. I don't think it'd be a problem. <laughs> And then I might take Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Well, now hold the phone here. Yeah. We've got nobody working in this operation. <laughs> we'll be caught up by this. Unless it snows. Unless it snows or we have a burial. So will Brandon be there if mm -hmm. it snows? Because okay. I have not driven a snow plow. He did out with him, but he didn't drive. No. What are you talking about? Well, I don't want to flip one over. Keep going around. This is a nice pile on Tobias this year. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I had him stick that in the way I used to jog down by Davis. Then when I stepped over, mm -hmm. I had him run it out that far. Yeah. That's all I have. So nothing else for road? I have a few things. Hey, did you order the no engine brake signs? Well, I did that before. Um, have you uh, made any arrangement with the writing center about paying? Um, mm -hmm. I have not talked to Carol. Oh, that's, you're doing that? Okay. Yes. Got it. Um, I called Bo um, Townsend and asked them to give us a price for a new truck. They're gonna look at what we got before. What we got before, uh, and, you know. Obviously, we're right into the beginning of that. Uh, unfortunately, there's no state bid now. The state bid didn't work out, or something. I don't know. There's some silly reasons. Can we get another another figure from another brand? Well, we we may have to. Uh, we can only buy out of pocket up to fifty thousand dollars. After that, we've got the we've got a bid. The last one was 37. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going to be. I'm sure they're going sure to be more than that. Uh, but we don't. Will the old truck plow and oh, yeah. spreader yeah, we'll and do. bed fit on the new one? No. The old bed's pretty pretty stressed, and I'm well with that frame. You asked me once, I looked at it well with the frame that sits on the truck frame. But they, but but the truck would not. We would not spec it out with the with the bed, right? You just want to cab a chat, right? Well, who's going to swap everything over? Mm -hmm. Katie Rose or something? Yeah. The same thing. I mean, yeah. 
all the hydraulics and the, and the lights all Rosie could put in, right? So we're just we're just buying the, the cabin chassis. That's what we usually do. We yeah. Piecemeal to piece it out for the yeah. room. Yeah. If you want to use that stuff. I'm, well, yeah. Okay. Why not? Well, we're pretty stressed. I mean, we've got a lot. We could. What's stressed? What? The bed. Oh, I, 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 I know. Know. I know the bed's got to be changed out, but I'm talking about the, uh, to the plow and the spreader. Those could be used. Okay. Okay. You're boring them, so they're leaving. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> I'll try and do better next time. Yeah, don't worry about it. Forty-four amendment of permit and appropriations, <clears throat> whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize amending of the following appropriations: general fund, contracted services increased by three hundred and sixty; <clears throat> cemetery fund, increase operating supplies by two thousand five hundred; fire levy fund, increase operating supplies by three thousand; and an EMS billing increase training services by six hundred and forty five dollars and the township trustees authorize the fiscal officer to do so immediately. I move for adoption of uh, twenty resolution twenty one forty four. Uh here Mark seconds. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? No sir. Call the roll please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mucher? Yes. How do I get that? Yes. Oh. Um, I don't have anything else to comment on at this point. I did not get a chance to do it. I did read over the Bureau of Workers Comp um, ways to save some money. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk to Colin about it, but it looks like there's some things that we already do, do, and we just need to pass that information along to them. Anyway, that will be part of, that will be reported on at the next meeting. <coughs> Standing <laughs> committee reports. Uh, in the RPC, we met uh, and went over uh, some transportation program items, uh, some fast act safety performance management targets, which were interesting, and some emergency DA, I don't know, I don't remember what EDA is, emergencies, disaster, or something or other, partnership and projects in the, in the, uh, in the region, uh, which is coming together uh, very nicely. Uh, we will be hiring uh, two new, two new uh, staff uh, in the near future to replace ones that left. Uh, it, uh, Green County, we um, we met and spent a good amount of time discussing a Cedarville Township zoning amendment uh, on farmland, which I wish there were more people here, but uh, we, we might go over that in the future and a change in the Beaver Creek in the Beaver Creek Township Zoning Amendment under, under mineral extractions, and then did some uh, uh, work on a, a subdivision in, I think it was, I think it was Beaver Creek Township, yeah, Trayvon Road, uh, and that takes care of that. Mm -hmm. is, and then we need to talk about the uh, uh, Greenhouse Mill, which, believe it or not, the roof is not finished no. yet. <laughs> wow. But, it's getting closer. The whole roof is on. I'm not sure what he's doing, but it looks like because he's working on the very peak, he's probably rolling that over and sealing the very peak. Uh, I was wondering because I saw 
uh, I don't know what you call them, but I, I saw stuff up there on the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what that stuff is for. So we're getting there. Parking lot looks good. The, oh, the parking lot looks wonderful. The new gravel. The new gravel, down, my fence is gone. And the trees are gone. Yeah. Everything's looking very nice. Thank you. A little more by the parking lot that bed needs to be knocked down with me or something. Mm -hmm. Susie had what's some vines pulled off the back or something. Mm -hmm. When we're down the road, we're fine. I'll do a final road. Yeah. Right. Thank you for doing that. It was very nice. I had I built that up a little bit. It needed it. Last time that it was just a coloring, I think. It was a thin coat. This time it got two, three inches all over. It yeah. It was one more of that. It's probably like that. It needed. It's amazing how that stuff goes away. <laughs> just sits in the ground. Yeah. That's all I had. Uh, I have not, I've received no notice of Transportation Advisory Committee. I mean, the last meeting was, didn't have, I mean, it was, they didn't have business, so they canceled it. But, uh, but that meeting would typically be later this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Clifton Union Cemetery Board did meet. Uh, Nothing surprising there. Uh, Yellow Springs Community Development Corporation board meeting uh, returned two donations that were to pay for uh, contracts uh, regarding uh, Mills Lawn public input and options. Uh, that was interesting. Nothing else special there. Uh, there were items for new business that we identified in our correspondence. At some point, just before we get to that, yes, uh, back. You know, I don't want to take the time today, but I would like to perhaps before the next monthly second meeting of the month, which is almost Christmas, um, have a little deeper dive into our role with YSDC and how things are going. Okay. Uh, to this point, so um, I'll identify that as uh, old business. Highlighted old business. Future old business. Huh. Like that. Future old business. Uh, uh, well, actually, before going through the correspondence items, I would like to take a look at my draft of a resolution. And Mark, I think I gave you a copy also. Where did that go? Here it is. Uh, I'm suggesting, whereas Miami Township Zoning Code designates the land area proposed for the Kingwood Solar Project as agricultural, and whereas the land proposed for the Kingwood solar area is primarily on prime soils, and whereas the area proposed for the Kingwood solar project is adjacent to three of Ohio's long protected natural areas, Clifton Gorge State Nature Preserve, John Bryan State Park, and Glen Helen Nature Preserve, uh, I guess I'll change the wording slightly. Therefore, be it resolved. Does that sound? Yes, sir. <clears throat> be it resolved that Miami Township opposes the application to the Ohio Power Siting Board by Vesper Energy for the Kingwood Solar Project. Case number 21-0117- E-L-B-G-N. 
I'll move for adoption of resolution 2021-45. Uh, do I hear a second? Yes. Moved and seconded. Just Any discussion? Just for consistency, we, sh we should put ands after each of the whereases. Yes. So that would make it official, as it were. That's all I had. Pass that over. Uh, I would just add, we, in February, resolved to be interveners uh, in this case with the Ohio Power Siding Board. And our attorney advised that if we were indeed opposed, we should say that. Mm -hmm. Not just that we are concerned interveners. Well, it's been moved and seconded. <coughs> we can call the roll. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. So, back to our other topics. Uh, update on speed reduction on State Route 343. What was that, Cora? What did they say? That study has uh, been completed and they've uh, they've uh, decided to lower the speed limit from U.S. Route 68 to uh, U.S. Route 370 slash Meredith Road from 55 to 45. Hmm. Signage will go up sometime. <clears throat> well, I think some people will think that's a big deal. Hope it reduces accidents. <clears throat> Some people on bicycles, maybe. Yeah. Uh, especially those with electric bicycles. <clears throat> um, agraria. You've invited someone from Agraria to come to our next meeting? In the actuality, they asked if they could come to our next meeting. Okay. And I said I would run that by you, Mr. Chairman, to see if that's approved or rejected. Our next meeting is the fifth. <coughs> or sixth. Which is it? I think anyway, it's the sixth. Sixth. <coughs> I mean, anyone could come. I, I think we. I would welcome them. Okay. This is not a deep dive discussion regarding the zoning inspector and agraria for uh, for issues. This is a just a general. She asked to meet and talk about what they're doing and what they're thinking about doing <coughs> to the board, not mm -hmm. to the zoning inspector. Although <coughs> he will be here and and he certainly, in my opinion, is welcome to. Come yes, that is like, but December 6th, yes. For some reason I thought five. Uh, should we formally reply to them, or how do we? I will. OK, um, you will? I, I think she already thinks she's going to be here, but I'll double, double reply. Dayton Daily News records request. That was regarding Kingwood. <coughs> what, what, what were they? She, the reporter was asking for anything that we had in either correspondence or internal um, memorandum uh, or work that referenced good neighbor. Excuse me, good neighbor agreements. The phrase "good neighbor agreements." in any of that between the dates of October 20, 29th, 
or so. <coughs> yeah, yeah, just like a week or so. Yeah, uh, maybe earlier than that. Maybe it was October 1st and the 29th or something. Um, I found none in my files. Uh, you found none in yours. Richard found two in his, and we'll send those over to her directly. Uh, and then email from Bath Township regarding fleet replacement idea. Have you reviewed that? I have not. Okay. Uh, did you see that? Okay. No. Uh, it's a, a great idea, but it's uh, it's to help replace smaller vehicles like your vehicle. Okay. So or the Dakota. Um, and we only need to, as we would have to go in with other other townships, and I don't know how that would work out, but they have to have at least a 10 vehicle minimum for ordering, and then you, you also order and you buy, and then I believe you also have signed up for a service agreement for the life of the vehicle, mm. for maintenance and repair. Uh, and just like a collective thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a collective buy, it's a collective serve long term. That's what it seems like. We always buy our small vehicles through the state DNS contract. Mm -hmm. well, apparently they do, because Beaver Creek Township is into them for, and this is like nationwide insurance or nationwide leasing or something, and into them for 13 vehicles in the next two years or something. What's the deadline on this? I don't recall. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, it, it, it's I don't deal. believe it would be within this time frame that we would be replacing uh, the Chiefs mm -hmm. automobile mm -hmm. or the auxiliary truck. Uh, our, well, let, let's leave the correspondence out on the table. I'll be back in the morning to sign checks. So, okay. All right. Our um, capital budget for vehicles went down to zero at our last meeting. Yes. <laughs> oh, on that topic. Yes. yes. Uh, <coughs> just real quick, the uh, uh, FEMA just opened the assistance to firefighters grant period. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are feverishly getting uh, pressing so we can put a grant application to replace the fire engine that is seriously past its good thing. Probably use a, a grant writer to help us get in there. And speaking of grants, we are two days away from the deadline to submit the stimulus grant for townships for road repair, uh, which we're trying to do for cemetery road uh, repair. And I'm still waiting on the county engineer to provide the information that's necessary. Now. That was that was due to me last Friday, and I didn't get it on Friday, so I didn't get it today. So I will and you it. reminded them to. Oh yes, you haven't had it. There's yes. I'm, I'm trying to balance reminding and being uh, not friendly. <laughs> assertive. Yeah, I guess so. But tomorrow kind of balances off to the <laughs> assertive time, I think. So um, she knows I'm waiting. Easier said than done, but I know what you're saying. And that's that's on the Wednesday <laughs> plan. Uh, I think that's all the business we have. There are other items. Um, we flag, no. flagged a few things for the future. Yeah, a, a couple things for the future is uh, uh, just housekeeping. We need to discuss what the plan is to clean windows on the exterior on some some kind of basis, yearly, quarterly, mm -hmm. something. Um, no little job. I just don't see doing it internally. Maybe, maybe not. <coughs> that would be a great relief to my staff. But uh, we do have the Windex spray on, rinse off stuff. Yeah. That Alex had trial. Mm -hmm. It worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. 
So we can try that on a warmer day. Yeah, we can try it next spring maybe to see if that's... And see, and then the bays, the guys have been yeah, trying to keep up. Yeah, the, the bays, I understand, are something separate. Uh, and the only other thing was, uh, uh, perhaps next meeting, we're going to need to talk about the changes in Bath Township's uh, political leadership and what it may or may not portend for us. That might be for uh, road and cemetery consideration also. Mm -hmm. Also for fire, for our agreements, for hopefully we not <coughs> And uh, that's all I had. I will move for adjournment if or something else. Do I hear a second in the move for German? Yeah. Uh, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 No. Whatever it wants to stay. <laughs> you are outvoted. Once again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. It is five. For yet another meeting. Thank you.